Hello, I'm Jungi from Purdue University. In this video, I'm going to present my recent study on bounded hardware transitional memory or hybrid DRAM MVM memory system. This work is done with my colleague Jaewan Hong at KAIST, and Professor Chang Yi-Jung at Purdue, and Professor Sung Liang Meng and Yong Jin Kwang at KAIST. Persistent memory is here. It has a large capacity than DRAM while retaining data across power on and off. At the same time, it leverages byte addressability through load stored instructions. In memory databases and key value stores are already adapting this technology to improve their performance by replacing SSD or reduce power consumption by replacing DRAM. To leverage PM's features such as byte addressability and persistency, persistent memory programming will be prominent. In this slide, let me explain what persistent memory programming is and what it requires. So let's take an example of a persistent hash table, which is widely used in database systems and key value stores. If there is another one thread attempting to a new node to the hash table, then the insertion should be done in atomic and durable ways. So by meaning atomicity, Execution has to be done in all or nothing based manner. At the same time, all modification should be written to NVM for durability. In addition, what if there is another thread trying to insert a node to the hash table simultaneously? If it is conflicting access, this feature should be serialized, which requires isolation between threads. As a result of atomicity and durability and isolation, data structure should be consistent at all times. So consistency is app dependent. So in this particular example, the persistent hash table must be always consistent state, even if concurrent updates. Therefore, persistent memory programming requires ACID properties where durable transactions have been proposed. In this study, we leverage hardware transmission memory, HTM, to support durable transactions. HCID properties are not independent, but they correlate each other. So for example, isolation, atomicity, durability provide consistency. So to guarantee isolation and atomicity, this study uses HTM, such as interest RTM. HTM is responsible for detecting data races at runtime and serializing them is necessary. On the other hand, atomicity and durability are guaranteed by hardware logging techniques. They are responsible for flushing data to NVM and managing the purchase order. So the combining these two approaches provide durable HTM, which is the target of this paper. Even if the basic idea of durable HTM is not new, we ident identified limitations in the previous study, as I'm going to explain in the few slides. So the first limitation is that it only supports NVM data in a transaction, while on answering how to manage interdependencies between DRAM and NVM data objects. According to trends in persistent memory programming, they pursue to use both DRAM and MVM data structure in a transaction. For example, recent studies for persistent key value stores place their index structure in DRAM while storing data in MVM. So this design accelerates the search operations since, you know, with the fast DRAM index structure. However, it complicates the case of insertion, where both DRAM and MVM should be modified in an atomic way. If the programming model does not allow manipulating the post objects in all transactions, it is extremely difficult to modify them in an atomic way. Therefore, not only exploring fast DRAM speed, there is another reason to call for supporting hybrid memory which is to simplify programming. 
To this end, we have a compelling need to support hybrid DRAM MVM transactions. The second limitation is its boundary. Commercial HTM such as Intel's RTM only allows speculative data to place in L1 cache, supporting transactions not exceeding the boundary. Even if the state of the art durable HTM extends the boundary to LLC by modifying the cache current protocol, it still bounds transaction in on chip cache size, since the cache current only works within caches. Unfortunately, LLC is not the safeguard. Persistent application tends to increase their data size, and virtualized environment exacerbate contention in LLC, which can lead to cache overflow. Furthermore, the transaction boundary matters since if a transaction exceeds its boundary, then it has to abort since HTM can no longer support correctness. That is why programmers should reason about the size of transactions not to overflow the boundary. The practical HTM programming guide recommends to implement the fallback pass that the overflow transaction should execute. However, this practice not only increases programming complexity, but also decreases concurrency by serializing transactions. On the other hand, previous unbounded HTM consider DRAM only systems. That means they are not satisfying durability. Also, they incorporate address signatures to capture conflict, making them support from very high force fast rates, which resulted in very high conflict rates. Therefore, durable HTM should be able to detect conflict at all memory hierarchies with low force fast rates. To this end, we proposed unbounded HTM for hybrid DRAM MVM memory system. And our system is called UHTM. It has the following two key features. First, it should be able to detect conflicts in any memory location, including both on-chip caches and off-chip memories. Second, UHTM should allow manipulating DRAM and MVM data object in a transaction and recover them consistently in case of abort or a power failure. But the challenge to achieve the first goal is the very high first possible rate of signatures. We observed that more than 90% of transactions conflicted due to false positive in L1 case signature ended up with serializing them for further progress. So we should reduce the false positive rates to provide efficient durable transaction. So the key idea of UHTM is to differentiate detection based on the memory hierarchy. For example, within on-chip caches, since they are frequently accessed, we need a technique that is accurate. However, for on-chip cache opposite, opposite memory, it is okay to be less accurate since they are less frequently accessed. Align force positive, but it should be unbounded. Based on the previous observations, UHTM presents a staged complete detection that uses cache current protocol for data in on-chip caches by extending the directory-based current protocol. And UHTM leverage address signatures for object memories, which can detect data without limitation. Since address signatures only record cache overflowed blocks, it has much less chance to produce false positives. By having different detection schemes, UHTM reduced the false positive rate from 99% in the L1 signature only system to 26%. However, we still have quite high force positive rates. Can you read it further? Of course, having a larger signature such as 60 kilobit helps reducing force positive rates to 
However, if we consider signature cell parkour structure, largest signature will have a huge space overhead. So other than increasing the size of signature, UH can present alternative solution based on the following observations. First, we observed force conflict happens not only between transactions, but also between transactional and non-transactional processes. For example, durable transaction aborted due to force conflicts with background processes that have no data sharing. That is, even if there is, there is not possible conflict, but as a signature generates force positive when making transactions abroad. So on the same extent, the number of cores or number of signatures participating in the complete checking determines how durable transactions are vulnerable to force positives. So we need to exclude signature of different processes from complex checking. So to this end, UH can present signature isolation technique. We first define the conflict domain, which is a group of transactions that potentially have conflict each other. So therefore, complex checking happens only within a group thread in the same process within this example. So initially, each process has a unique group ID. And whenever it spawns a new thread, the thread inherits the same group ID via default. Since the conflict checking, conflict domain confines the signatures participating to the conflict checking, the possibility of false positive drastically reduced. This signature isolation technique is particularly beneficial in a virtualized or containerized environment where durable transactions are consolidated with other processes. In addition to comfort detection, UHTM also supports hybrid DNA-NVM data. So in other words, it should guarantee atomicity and durability of hybrid memory. So UH can provide hardware logging techniques to support atomicity and durability. Now, since commit is more common than abort and crashes, we optimize the UH logging technique to minimize the commit latency. To this end, UH can present a hybrid logging approach that uses under logging for DRAM data and use within logging for NVM data. So while the commit of DRAM complete fast with the eager approach, which, which overrides the original data within transactions. NVM commit becomes faster with the lazy approach, since it plays costly catch flush out of the critical path. And UHTM guarantees crash consistency with NVM read logging. Let me explain the methodology of this paper. We used the same fiber simulator to e evaluate UHTM. All experiments are performed with 16 core configuration, and we compare UHTM with the state of the art durable HTM, that is LS bound, and signature only UHTM. We also compare UHTM with the ideal unbounded transaction that has no false positives. This is the throughput of each, each design and normalized to the LRC bounded baseline. First of all, the ideal unbound HTM are performed the LRC bounded one, which demonstrates the need for unboundedness. In benchmarks such as B3 and RB3 and skip list, the ideal HTM shows substantially higher throughput than the, than the baseline, showing up to 8.2x throughput in B3. On the other hand, signature only system even shows lower throughput than the baseline. This is because signature only design turns out to generating too much false positives, so the transactions were highly serialized. However, UHTM drastically reduced the number of false positives, making UHTM outperform the baseline. Furthermore, which then achieves throughput similar to the ideal design, except skip list with the signature isolation technique. 
For more experiments, please refer to the paper. This is the conclusion of this presentation. And we build an unbound HDM that supports unbound unlimited conflict detection with the staged scheme. And it also supports hybrid DDMVM logging with that use under logging for DDM data and with logging for NVM data. Thank you for watching.